and welcome to Who Done It, the game show where we suspect everyone and always get our man. Uh, <clears throat> men, we sort of need to get started here. Ah, thank you. Okay, our victim tonight is the family dog Buttercup. And our suspects, I mean contestants, are the residents of Cummerbund Manor. Lord and Lady Cummerbund, their troubled son Jake, their ex-convict gardener Knuckles, their sex-crazed maid Giselle, bonjour, their pet goldfish and their cat Tiddle. Meow. Yes, Tiddles? Oh, yes, of course. Just around the corner, second door on your right. <clears throat> OK, it's time to play Who Done It? First question. How was Buttercup murdered? Was he A, hit from behind with a blunt instrument in a room with doors locked from the inside? B, shot with a poison needle from a blowgun cleverly concealed in a golf club? C. Bitten by a deadly snake that crawled down a bell rope into his room. Or D. Shot with a pistol whose trigger was attached to a doorknob with a rubber band. Yes, Lord Cummerbun. Which was it? Are these my only options? Yes, and your time is running out. Well, I don't think it was any of those things. Um, it appears to me that the dog was attacked yes, by a crazed beast of some kind. Yes. I'm trying to remember when I last saw Buttercup alive. Uh, oh, yes, I know. He was eating out of the wrong bowl in the pantry. Yes. Wait a moment. <laughs> My God! I'm afraid Lord Cummerbund has had a terrible accident. This shows what can happen when electricians fail to use safety cables when hanging lights. Men, arrest those sparks for the involuntary manslaughter of Lord Cummerbund. Oh, good. Tiddles is back. Let's move on to our next question, shall we? If the dog had been poisoned, what poison do you think the murderer would have used? Would it have been A, normal tap water, B, chicken soup, C, tomato ketchup, or D, potassium cyanide? C, tomato ketchup. No, Jake, I'm afraid not. Uh, yes, Giselle? Pardonnez-moi. I was just checking to see if my buzzer works. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, Knuckles, which is it? Uh, D, cyanide? That is correct! It is, however, highly suspicious that you knew that answer. Right, let's move on to the next question. Why would the gardener want to murder the dog? Who? Huh? Because A, Buttercup dug up his newly planted petunias, B... Oi! This is a frame-up! I didn't kill that dog! But I know who did. <laughs> Aha! Excellent. Finally, the show is getting back to normal. The first person you suspect is always the second victim. Well, almost always. There was that one show. <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing is a farce. We all know who killed the dog. <laughs> Kindly give me a glass of water, please. Oh, thank you. <gasps> it appears that Lady Cummerbund has taken her own life. But why? Was it perhaps because she couldn't live with the shame of having a son who is a murderer? Stand back! I'm not afraid to use this. I hated that dog. But I didn't kill it. Maybe I would have, though, if I'd had to clean up after it. Jake, put the gun down. I know you didn't do it. I didn't want to get involved, but I saw the murderer leaving the scene of the crime. How you say, le méchant m'a tout... Men, arrest this boy for the murder of the maid Giselle. But this is just a toy! 
Ah, only two suspects remaining. This is more difficult than usual. But if we eliminate the sweet little pussycat tiddles, then the murderer must be the goldfish. Yes, of course. Why didn't I see it sooner? Wait a second. The goldfish has escaped. Men, after him. Uh, you really don't have to rush. Uh, you can't have gone too far. Well, I guess that wraps up another case and another show. You know, Tiddles, I've been thinking, maybe I should have an assistant. What do you say? Ah, perfect fit. Well, actually, it was elementary, my dear Tiddles. As soon as I saw the dog's injury, I had my suspicions. But it wasn't enough to have suspicions, I had to have proof. And after the goldfish had eliminated all the other suspects, I finally had that proof. You see, the goldfish was smart, but not smart enough.